Let's take a look at placing a trade using the auto break even feature on the NinjaTrader mobile app. We'll start with the trade ticket. We have selected E-mini S&P. We're going to buy a contract, one lot at the market. Now, this same technique would also work if we entered on a limit order or even a stop order, but we'll keep it at market order. I'm gonna scroll up a little bit. The first thing I have to do is select my initial stop loss for this trade. I'm gonna tap stop loss and I could set this to whatever I'd like. In this case, it's set at 10 ticks. I could use the toggle buttons on the right to make it bigger or smaller. We'll change it to 12. And then at the, underneath the 12, you'll see it translates it automatically to points and a US dollar, if that helps. I'm gonna hit apply, and I've set my initial stop loss. Now, the next thing I need to do is select the auto break even trigger. In other words, how far or how many ticks should this trade go my way before the stop jumps from where I set it to break even? In this case, I'll go ahead and toggle this to eight and I'll hit apply. You could toggle it to whatever you'd like. That's the trigger. That's where the price has to go. The next thing I'm gonna do is set a break even offset. And what I wanna do here is say, hey, I want it to, I want it to jump to break even plus two ticks or plus one tick or maybe plus no ticks, wherever you want the break even to go, you could set it up or that first initial jump. And I'm gonna go ahead and just set it to two. I'll hit apply and then place buy order. Confirmation screen, buy market. And now I've started the whole process. I get the confirmation black ribbons at the bottom for my fill and for where my initial stop loss is working and it will jump once my conditions are met. You could monitor that on the manage section as well.